This is the fifth in a set of tutorials about building a simple experiment using Pebble. And, in, and here we are going to just do a little um, test to see how we might be able to figure out if someone made the right response in our even odd judging experiment. So I'm going to look at tutorial 5 scoring. And what I, if you think about what we have, we have people giving a response and um, and we want to know whether they make, and we say if, you, if it's odd you make a left and if it's even you make a right uh, shift key. So we want to know if they did that correctly. Um, and, but we want to make it okay for any um, stimulus you might give. So I thought about how to do this and um, a really simple way to do it is to make to start with is to make a function called is odd, and is odd should uh, be true if something is odd and false if something is even. That way, I can then embed that within uh, my code in the trial and s to see if you're correct. Because if it's odd, then you should make a left shift. If it's even, if you should make a right shift. So here, I'm not going to. I'm actually not going to run the experiment we've looked at so far, but I'm get, just going to do a little test using message box, which we've used before, and try out an is odd function and try it out on a bunch of different things to make sure it works. If you know um, about uh, mathematical functions, there's one called mod, mod or modular arithmetic or mo uh, modulus operator that is sort of the opposite of remainder. Um, and is odd turns out to be identical to a number mod 2. So if something is 1, its value mod 2 is 1. If it's 3, its value mod 2 is 1. So if you take the number, you divide it by 2, and you give me the remainder. That's what, um, that's what mod is, um, gonna, is going to provide. So whenever it's odd, if you divide it by 2, the remainder is going to be 1, and it's going to return 1. Whether, whenever it's even, um, the remainder is going to be zero, and it's going to return zero. And so in Pebble and in many programming languages, zero is equivalent to false, and one is equivalent to true. So whenever this is uh, one, it will return one, and it'll be true. And whenever it's, um, whenever it's even, it'll return zero and be, be false. So we can test that here by trying out zero, one, two, 33, 11, 41. So again, press any key to begin, ready, okay, so when I give it zero, it says zero. So far, so good. When I give it one, it says one. When I give it two, it says zero, so that's good. Is odd is false when you give it two. Is odd is true when you give it 33. Is odd is true when you give it 114141, and so on. Okay, so that's just testing a little function that helps us score our trial. And I and you know this is a simple one, but I'll often write a function that will help me score whether something's correct or not, you know. So you might have ask for a response for several things but not other things and so similarly you can figure out how to whether someone is correct or not. Um, in fact, if I printed out all of this all of the information on each trial, I I could go in later with Excel or R or SPSS and score it myself. But anything I can do within the, the experiment for scoring is going to simplify my life later. So I'm going to use scoring within the trial, and um, and it, and put that is odd function in there. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial. In the next one, we will. Uh, embed it within a, within the trial and do some more things uh, to make multiple trials in the experiment.